What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, 20 d 2 bod checking in once again, back with another video today, guys, on my top five Black Friday steals and deals, man. I know a lot of you guys are ready for that food, and I'm ready for that food, too, but there is a couple steals and deals out there that we can look forward to, so I went through and picked my top five categories that I'm going after that maybe you should go after and tell you guys what's going on now and what's going on for Friday, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at tonyd 2 Wild. Let's go ahead and get this shit started. Let's get it. Pussy pop. Let go. So I wanted to start it off at number five with cameras. I mean, I know a lot of you guys out there love the... To vlog, you love to take pics, you like to make flicks with your chicks. When she, yo, I'm just playing. Okay, moving on. Anyways, you like cameras, you like to do, you know, photography, videography like me. I mean, this is the generation we live in. You need a camera nowadays. Well, there's a couple of deals going on that I was seeing, and a lot of these deals are on, you know, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, you know, a lot. And you can find them on these other weird sites if you go deep in the jungle, the lion jungle, you can find some even crazier deals. Seeing on Canon's website, and I'm, I'm going to be speaking mostly about Canon because I'm not a Nikon user, so my terminology, my thought process, my knowledge, and my opinion on that will be uh, biased, and I won't know much about it at all. Anyways, for a Canon, they're doing a pre-Black uh, Friday sale right now where you can get the T6 for $550, but I would really pass on that. I could not find out what they were actually doing for Black Friday itself on the deal side because, you know... Um, you can get that 550 kit now um, on Best Buy, a T6 DSLR kit, and the uh, on Black Friday it will drop down to 450. So you can check that out. I'm gonna be looking at this screen because all my list of like of everything I put together is right here. Also on Black Friday you can get the Canon T6i kit. Comes with the lens of the 18 by 55, I believe, with a uh, bundle bag as well, like the whole setup. Now, um. One thing here, man, I know my cameras, I know them pretty well, since they can, and one thing I don't know is what the hell is the difference between a T6 and a T6i? I know one thing for certain, the T6i is better. If it has an eye on the end, it's better. I mean, when I initially started, I had a T2i, and then it wasn't until the T3i came out when all these T3s, T4, T5 came out along with it. It's like a lower brand version, I guess. It's like the like the LeBron soldier of the LeBron, you know, series. It's like just as good, but it's a little bit less and lacks a little bit. Like if you're going to get a T6, you might as well get a T5i. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. And maybe I could be wrong, but that's how I feel. And my t-shirt is looking like it's hanging off my neck, like a turkey neck. But anyways, yeah, the T6i is releasing for 800 bucks, a very good camera. Um, like I said, I started off with a T2i. Bull, I think he started off with a T5i. I think Fomer started off with a T5i. Um, well, they didn't start off with it. They started off like way before me with like camera phones, and then they upgraded. Their first DSLR was like the T5i. You got the um, the 70s and all that, the 70Ds that people use nowadays, and they're good. You know what I'm saying? But you're gonna be spending around like a thousand dollars, and it's getting points. It's getting to that point in time and technology where. That's such an old release that initially released probably in like the early 2000s, like 2012, 2013 maybe, 2010 maybe, I don't know. T6i is coming out like every year, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to eventually pass that old technology, you know. You also had the Canon G7X Mark II that's going to be released around for $700. It's a great vlogging camera, but spend that, spend that extra 100 and get the T6i, you know what I'm saying? This is the uh, Canon G7X, the original one that I got. You can find these online for $300 to $500. Uh, great vlogging camera, point and shoot, keep it moving. So if you do want something a little bit less crazier on the DSLR side, you can get the G7X Mark II and it'd be pretty dope. The quality is amazing. Go check out my vlogs. You can see it all yourself. Great, crazy, uh, you know, amazing vlogs. But if you're going to be doing like camera, videography, photography, get the T6i for the $800 and I'll make sure to link it all down below and after all that with the cameras guys me personally I'm not looking for a camera at the time I have a black magic which shoots great 4k uh, 4k quality for me but I render it in 1044 um, 10 1440 my bad and uh, I have the 6d that I still use from time to time mainly for my photos and for videos when I need it and then this Canon G7X which just does the job for me right now but those are great deals you guys should check out, honestly. So let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we have the gaming, man. The gaming area of things. Now, I want to dive into this. I'm just not sure if my pockets want to do it right now this moment. But Best Buy and Walmart have great deals going on at the moment. You can get both of these consoles right now for $300. They come with games, I believe. There's different ones going on. Like, I think 
for Xbox, you get three games for 250 I think like Minecraft and some other games. I don't know exactly what they were, but for the PS4 bundle, you get Uncharted for, uh, I think you get Uncharted for 300 But if you wait till Black Friday, you can get the Xbox for 250 and you get the PS4 for 250 But there's one thing about here that I like more with the Xbox. The Xbox One, you get the Xbox One S with this deal. You do not get the PS4 Pro. So if you are a 4K gamer and you're looking for some 4K stuff, you might get the Xbox One S. Um, I was thinking about getting a PS4, and I still might, or I could just wait till Christmas and probably get this same deal, because really they'd be finessing us in the streets. But I'd rather get the PS4 Pro, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not seeing nothing out there. I want a 4K gaming console, and if I go buy another Xbox One, I'm going to be a, like a douchebag to my little brother and cousin having two Xboxes, and they not having one. So we'll have to work something out and see. Maybe I can get one of them. I don't know. Shh. They watch my videos, so I can't say that. I don't, uh, hey, if you're watching it, I don't know yet. Be quiet. Don't, don't talk to me when I come over about that. Don't bug me. But, uh, yeah, those are the great things going on. Games are going to be on sale for, like, $30, you know, 30% off. A lot of games. So if you're trying to get your gaming up, it's a great time to go check them out. Go to Best Buy on uh, Thursday tomorrow and just walk up in there. They're going to have a, like, they're gonna have a games on sale for everywhere. I usually get my 2K. Back when I was... Struggling a little bit more, you know, I was uh, getting 2K at that time because you can get 2K for like 30 bucks usually on Black Friday. So I used to just wait till Black Friday and get it, really. That's what I used to do. But uh, that's really the gaming aspect of things. So, you know, that's something you should guys to check out if you've been waiting on the console. It'd be a great time to get one now. So check that out on Walmart and Best Buy. 250 for Black Friday. You should be able to get that. I mean, check out GameStop too and these other places. I'm pretty sure you can get it. Use one for even better. I seen someone on eBay for like 150 for Xbox One, so it's 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 a good time to be gaming and trying to hop into it now, man. It's it's really cheap. Now the big one that I've been waiting for, guys, and the one I actually have dived in as my, myself already. I'm gonna be vlogging me going to get it along with other things for Black Friday. This whole room change I got going on that I'm gonna be showing you guys soon. You gonna enjoy it? Uh, is the TV section right now on sale? They have a 43 4K Toshiba for 280. Um, 43 inch 4K Toshiba 280. Toshiba, it's uh, a good brand. It used to be, that was not me. It sounded like I fart. Listen. Oh, not. Now I don't want to do it. Anyways, uh, the Toshiba, man, it kind of like died over with time. I feel like, honestly, you know, um, it's, it, it, it's not the same as it used to be. You know, I used to have Toshiba laptops all back in the day. But still a good brand. Like, I, I, I don't really look too much into brands when it comes to TVs. I'm not, like, going to go after the Sony or go after just LG. Like, I'm going to go after what, what costs the best. Now, I'm not going to go with these crazy brands, but I'll go for some, some decent ones. We'll get down to the crazy brands. You know, I don't call them, like, they're not bad, but they're brands that I just wouldn't get. You know, I want something that's pretty familiar with me and my ears. But like I was saying, the 43-inch 4K Toshiba for 280 Then we have a 50-inch Vizio 4K for $400. Now, that is the one I went and got today. I'm going to go pick that up. Um, that is on sale now for $400. It's pretty good. 50-inch Vizio. I have a Vizio right here in front of me. Works good. I've been using Vizio since I was in college. They, they're, they're, they're a good brand to me. Um, Black Friday sales, we got, you know, an LG 24 inch for 80 bucks. That's a 1080p, 24 inch for 80 bucks. Now I said that because this is like a 24 inch right here and 24 inches are great for gaming use. Like if you want to play Twitch and all that. So I might have to go get that guy up and get another one right here. One, two, and then three. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, 80 inch. It's like, they got them on Amazon for like a hundred dollars as well, but I might have to go ahead and get this one now, you know, straight up. We also have an LG 43 inch for $300, and I believe that one is 4K as well. These are all 4K, I believe. And then last but not least, for Walmart, they have a Samsung 55 inch for 298 4K. These are the ones on Black Friday. These are the ones that people get trampled over. These are the ones that people, you know, get to fighting for. That That's why. Also releasing are in uh, lower brands, but, you know, good size and quality is an Element 40 inch for 125. An Element for 125. Now, I'm pretty familiar with the brand Element, but I would I just don't, wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that. But, you know, if I'm balling on a budget, I would. I won't lie. I, I, I will not disrespect. You can get a 50 inch element for 225 at Walmart on Black Friday. 225 for a for a fucking 50 inch. And these are both 1080p. So you get a 40 inch for 125 and spend 100 more dollars, you get a 50 inch for 225. Amazing. Amazing. 
So those are my personal TV, you know, deals going on. Now, I'm gonna go get that 4K today. And we're gonna get this shit pussy popping on the handstand. Coming in at number four, guys, are computers, man. I know you guys are looking for like computers probably, or some of you guys want to upgrade your computer a little bit. Um, you know, me personally, if you're gonna be looking for a desktop, do not buy desktops. Do not buy desktops. Build your own desktop. If you got money to invest, build your own desktop. I spent like a thousand and something on this desktop right here from ASUS, which is pretty good. I really love it. It's been in I've been using it for years now. But I would have loved to use that money and buy the parts individually and bought a monster. So I'm going to be doing something like that in the year 2017, most likely getting a monster, buying building my own first computer and enjoying that and loving that experience. So definitely check that out if you're gonna be doing that. Do not buy I would not buy no no desktop straight out like that. But coming up, you know, we have the ASUS, and I would always recommend ASUS for laptops, especially for gaming and speed. ASUS is like one of my favorite brands. You know, like I said, my desktop is ASUS, my laptop is ASUS. They're great at um, gaming and, you know, doing doing my videos. I can edit on my laptop. I prefer to edit on my desktop because I can stand and sit down and get comfortable in my seat rather than laying in my bed on my laptop. But once I get my futon, I'll do it right. But ASUS has a Q304 with a 6 gigabyte of RAM for 480. I'm pretty sure um, that uh, you can upgrade that RAM. RAM is easy as fuck to upgrade. Easy. Like 100, like 50 bucks, you can get like turn that 6 into like. 18 easy you know what I'm saying or whatever it supports I have to check out what it supports but I believe also you get a good amount of uh, hard drive space but for 480 that's a pretty dope um, price it's a touch screen it's 480 it's going off for Black Friday I think it's a 15 inch very very good laptop um, that you could just use for the 480 price now if you want to spend a little bit something more you get a 2-in-1 which is like the tablet slash the, uh, laptop Asus 2-in-1, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabyte hard drive with memory from Best Buy from $1,100. Now, um, I spent a thousand on my deck on my laptop, and it has some pretty dope specs in it as well. But a 2-in-1, it was not thought about at the time when I bought that, and it's it went around for the same price, $1,100. You can get you something like that. Now, a lot of guys, you might want to go ahead and get you a MacBook. Go ahead and do that. Me, I'm staying away from Macs. Um, they're good, but they're just not. They're like, you can't, uh, it's just, you. when you get to that Mac life, you got to stay in the Mac life. You, and you can't really upgrade things. I, I don't know. You got to, certain programs work, certain programs don't work. And like Sony Vegas doesn't work for Mac. So it's like I have to work around and do like things like parallels and shit. So I kind of, I kind of stay away from that. But great, they're great computers. Don't get me wrong. Now, 15 inch HP is going for 170 for a 4 gigabyte. This is something for your little brother or sister or if you just need a laptop like Tony I just need a fucking laptop 170 for HP 4 gigabyte um, you can go check that out that's at Walmart as well as a Chromebook for 119 Samsung Chromebook um, at Walmart these are Black Friday deals so check them out I'm gonna have to put my mom on that HP 15 inch 4 gigabyte because she's trying to get something for my little brother so that's definitely a good one for like a little kid or something if you're checking out 170 you can't really beat that for Four gigs of a 15 uh, inch HP. That's 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 good. You know, I spent $500 like in 2009 for that same tech. So look how much shits went down. And this HP. HP is a great brand. I spent 500 for a gateway with it had four gigabytes of RAM and it was a 17 inch uh, monitor. So yeah, it was kind of it, it, it. Times are changing and, and things are looking good. You know. But that's it for the computers. Let's move on to the last but not least final deal. Now, guys, this one is the phone section. Um, some people, you know, I wanted to leave it last because some people don't need phones at the time. You know, you don't, you don't need phones. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a phone right now. But Walmart, Target, and uh, yeah, Walmart and Target and Best Buy are having a deal. I don't know where the hell the Best Buy one went. Oh, here goes Best Buy. Okay. They're all having deals if you want to go buy phones from there. And I'll just read these ones out to you real quick. And you go from there. Yours, you see, now everybody has different providers as well. You can check out your Sprint for review with Sprint. Check out their, you know, check out their deals. Check out to, uh, to Verizon. Check out AT&T. Check out T-Mobile. There's probably some upgrade deals going on for you guys. You know what I'm saying? So go and check that out. But if you're trying to get a new phone, you know, buy a brand new phone or get a new line or, I don't know, you just check these out, man. Walmart has 
buy any Apple or Samsung smartphone on Verizon or AT&T installment plan and get a $250 gift card. Note that any does not include the Galaxy J3 or any phone that's being sold at a discounted price. So buy a phone from uh, Apple or Samsung from Walmart, get $250 gift card. Target has buy seven or seven plus on a Verizon AT&T or Sprint installment plan and get a $250 Target gift card. You buy S7 or S Edge on Verizon, AT&T, or Sprint, $250 gift card. Buy S7 or S Edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you buy an iPhone 7 or iPhone Plus or a Galaxy S or S Edge from AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint over at Target, you get a $250 gift card. And my bad, if you get the S7 and the Edge, you get a uh, Gear VR as well with that $250 gift card, so check that out. Best Buy is doing the same exact thing with the S7 and S7 Edge um, from Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. You get the gift card and the uh, Gear VR. And also with uh, Best Buy, they're doing Buy 7 and or 7 Plus on Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint installment plan and get a Best Buy gift card. $250 with the $256 gigabyte model, $100 with the 32 and 128 models. So... They just got clapped up real quick because it, basically, if you want to get that the iPhone 7 at a lower, you know, smaller gig, I would go ahead and go go to uh, Target because they're gonna give you the 250 regardless of whichever one you get. And last but not least, buy a LG G5 or on a Verizon or Sprint installment plan and get a $300 Best Buy gift card. So there you go on that one, and yeah, that that's it's a lot of shit going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and comment down and uh, comment down below. I will try my best to link everything down below. This is going to be a very very long video that I got to go ahead and edit and get ready. But I'm going to go ahead and go and get ready to vlog these pickups. So make sure you guys go and check out the vlogging channel Too Wild for t TV. Um, I'll link that down below and probably try to put it up here as well. But thank you guys for all the love and support. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Follow me over on IG, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, Snapchat. Your mama's pussy at Tony D Two Wild, and I love you guys. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace. Still alive.